everybody welcome back down to the underground layer that's now an ice cube compared to two days ago we have a carbon DC is it 135 145 I can't recall your buddy had taken the bridge apart because the Eastern I think got um, stuck in there the ball in oh top tip and I'm going to throw one of these in his um, in his uh, case if you ever get your ball in stuck in there you can just push down into the hole with a bass guitar string and it'll pop that ball right out we're going to put the strings on it it's been a very very busy day so I wasn't able to get to this but I do want to get uh, string tension on it before I go to bed. Alright, let me grab the 10 mil. Like I always say, you want to just make sure these are, oh that's right, just, those are Imperial, not metric, 7 sixteenths. These are um, Spurzels. I think they're made from high You don't want to crank these, you just want to make sure that they are snug. These frets are really polished. I'm just going to hit it with some 36 on up to 6,000. Let me do that and I'll be back. You've seen the other videos. I'll put a link. Okay, folks. So we took our um, Super Lube and uh, we pulled the bridge back just a little bit to get them off the pins and we lubricated the uh, the two posts here and then we took our big Ben's nut sauce, I don't know if you can see that and we put that on each saddle where the string crosses over and in the nut slots. Now let's string it up. Uh, we polished the frets and everything, and I'm going to tell Buddy next time he brings this by here, he's going to want to get a level and crown because they're getting real flat. Like from here, we kind of widen out to like the D string, and it comes back, and they're all dented up and flat. So he needs a level and crown. But that's not what it's here for today. All right, boys and girls, see we have our skyscraper. See it's a stepped block, and they come in four different sizes. I got the next to the smallest one in here, almost all the way up to the last step. One step before the last step. You back, all the, back the screws out until it's tight in there. Tune up the guitar, and the reason you use that is you want to make the the base of the bridge as flat to the body as possible. So you can do all your setup work and when you're done doing your setup work then you tighten this, the trim screws in until the block falls out and bingo bango you're done. Let's just see where we, our relief is now. Uh, granted I'm going to let it sit overnight we want the 17th frets and we want 10 thou. That's seven. And actually, I'm gonna, it's just barely moving it. I think what we're gonna do is we're going to leave this, gently turn this around so I don't spill Mr. Suction Pig off of there. Okay. We're gonna let, leave this sit overnight and acclimate actually I'm going to put a stand let it acclimate to having the string tension on it will come back and check the uh, relief in the morning and we'll 
we'll see where we need to go from there. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the underground lair. We've let our carbon sit overnight, and we still have the block underneath. <clears throat> I just tuned it back up to pitch and you see I've got the truss rod in expecting to make changes. Since we went from 10s to 9s that would put less um, tension on the truss rod. So let's see what it did. Last night the 10 was barely fitting under the seven or under the string at the seventh fret. Today it's still. So we're gonna want to release that just a little bit. Lefty Lucy. I'm just gonna think of the collar. Check it again. Seventeenth, seventh, ten thousand. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking that. Forgot this is a has individual string height adjustment. So we're four there. We're four there. We're four there. We're a little less than four there, a little less than four there, and then four there. So these two can come up just a hair. Find the correct piece. Is it? That appears to be it. Once again, we want to keep our uh, our saddle level with the body. That's in that area that's really flat. starts up here where the frets get really flat. Oh, he does play for an amp, so I don't know if that's going to be a real big deal. Let's just put, try putting a little bit more relief in it since it's in this area, not up here. I think that's about where we're going to leave it. Let's just double check the relief. Uh, since I made a little bit of adjustment. Just perfect. Yeah. 
All right, let's see how this thing sounds through a clean amp, just to see, you know, playing it acoustically and getting a little bit of buzz because of these flat frets. Does it have an effect when it comes to an amp? Come back. Set our intonation. That's good. That's good. These can come up a little bit. These, but actually, I'd, I'd like to see these move come up just a little bit. There, that's better. Okay, what does our intonation look like? Good? Slightly sharp. The extendomatic on here. Also a little sharp. Not that much you know. Also a little sharp. Everything's a little sharp because of the change of string gauge. 
right? Right. There we are. Good. Good. All right. So I think we did everything that we need to do here. We did intonation. We did pickup height, polished frets, well, fingerboard, restrung with nines, lubed, lubed, lubed. We gotta put the screws back in the back. Tighten these back up so that I can take the block out. Do one turn, uh, peace. is flat with the body. Skyscraper guitars, yes. Alright, retune. Oh, plug in, then retune. Call that done. We ended up with our We're at about 564 is where we had to go because of these flat frets down here. So yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you for joining us down here in the underground lair. If you need your guitar brought up to par, like we did this carving DC 145, 35, I can't remember the numbers. Um, we're on the Facebooks. If you could send me a instant message or the number, phone numbers on the Facebook, uh, we'll get you in line here so we can get you set up. I have got all the work I can do up until Easter right now so you can give me a call and we can set something, some, set something up for after Easter but um, yeah I'll get you in here if you do me a favor if you found anything interesting in this video or helpful or something that I did wrong or something you just want to talk about Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications, and leave a comment below if you got something to say. I always like to hear from people like Bentley and um, a few other folks. Anyhow, take care of the old folks because they're special. Love your neighbor like you love yourself, and um, most of all, you have yourself a good day. Peace.